All right, so I know that this video comes with a large promise attached to it, but what I'm seeing a lot for you guys who are reaching out to me is that you guys have a problem where there are way too many skills that you think you have to learn just to make it to your first software developer job. And while you can list out all the skills on a roadmap, for example, people create tons of roadmaps, the truth is that there's like one skill that's kind of hard to describe that actually matters, that takes precedent over all the specific technical skills that you can get into that I'm gonna cover here. So just stick with me, it will make sense after my explanations. Now, the first thing I really wanna get into is to talk about my story about being on YouTube because I'm gonna tie it in here. I became a YouTuber or I started putting out YouTube videos is probably a better way to say it in I think it was 2017, 2018. And a lot of people ask me like, why did you think that you could put out videos? You had only been a software developer for, you know, basically three years. And it's a great question, right? Like what even gave me the confidence to do that? One of the things that gave me a confidence to do that is that I had gone through the grind of software development, right? I taught myself to do it in 2014. I landed my first job and really in the first three years, I was a code junkie, like the literal definition of a code junkie. I remember there were weeks where I was working 60 to 70, maybe even like 80 hours per week, not because I felt forced to do it or because I was trying to, you know, get a pay raise or something like that. I, I simply loved being a programmer. So after being in the trenches for so long, I suddenly began to realize that there wasn't a lot of new things that could be thrown at me. Sure, there was always going to be more to learn. I wanted to reach the level of mastery, but I really felt like a stability that came from actual experience, right? Some of you guys maybe think I'm a sociopath who just lies about everything. And if you think that you're wrong, right? But the reason I felt that is because I had gone through so much that I really feel strongly that I can talk about this. Now, flipping this back to you, right? So a lot of you guys want to feel the same way about being a software developer, right? You want to go through the process now of learning so that you feel so good about your skills that you can apply to a job. The problem with this is, is that most of you guys don't really go through the, what you call like the, the thick of it, right? You're not in the trenches every single day. And it comes from many different things. Like for example, many of you guys are stuck on tutorials. You are stuck on books. You are stuck just learning theory over and over again because you're waiting to feel like you're good enough from theory to go into getting your, your hands dirty, right? right? Your elbows in the mud, as they say. The problem with this is that the getting your elbows in the mud is something you should be doing now. All the tutorials you're watching are great. Start diving into creating projects or solving problems with code. So that means that you can do your leak code, hacker rank. I recommend edibit.com. So if you haven't dove into code in very long or you're still learning a lot of theory, try edibit. Edibit.com is great because you can pick very easy problems. It's very, very simple. Hacker rank and leak code tend to be harder for new people and beginners. So the point is, is that you have to get your elbows dirty. You have to go through the grind day in and day out to really get better at the one skill that matters, which is learning, but also building up your like logical problem solving skills, which is what most of you guys need work on. Now, here's the thing that's really important that I found. I have worked with many people who are at the new level of being a programmer, right? I have a mentorship program, I help people out. And one of the things that I've noticed is that there's a lot of craving for information. And so what I've tried to do in the past is just give people information, right? Like explain anything that they ask me about is just sort of explain it, right? And you could have the best teachers explain anything to you. It could be how to be rich. You could ask Warren Buffett how to be rich. You could ask Elon Musk how to run businesses. You could ask, you know, Steve Jobs, who's not alive anymore. You could ask Steve Jobs how to design products. If you haven't been through a lot of experiences in that pursuit, then their information is essentially worthless, right? Because the person who is able to take information that they're given about software development, about anything, they have to be actually doing it. A good example of this is something that's really, I'd say it's a simple idea in programming, but can be really, really good for new people who are in this is the dry principle. The dry principle basically says, don't repeat yourself, which means that if you see a lot of repetition in your code, so you look at your code, you identify that you're doing a lot of the same things, but maybe just a little bit different each time. And that's something where you can consolidate all that functionality into one function, call it everywhere where it's being used, and you've saved yourself some code. You've also made it more readable. This is a very simple idea. And any of you guys, I could explain it to you. I could make one YouTube video about it, do a bunch of research, have a bunch of examples. And many of you guys will nod your head and say, oh, I totally get what he's talking about. But at the end of the day, the people who are gonna learn the most, the people who are really gonna have their brains just explode and go like, oh my God, this is amazing, is people who have maybe tens to hundreds of hours of experience writing their own code. They're gonna learn so much from that, right? So if you get a code review on some of your code, if I were to give you a code review, look at your code and I break things down, 
you're hopefully going to have things pop off in your head because you're, you actually built the project. Whereas if all you're doing is learning, you're not going to have that. So the idea that I'm talking about this video that I'm trying to convey here is that the one skill you really need is that you have to have tons and tons of reference experiences. That means you have to put in tons and tons of time, not necessarily into tutorials, but into the one thing that you're actually been doing as a software developer, which is writing code. And the reason I say that is a skill is because for most of you, this is the one thing that you don't want to do. If I were to sign you a project and say, go build me this app, right? You know, your calculator app or something like that. I guarantee you that many of you, maybe not all of you, because some of you guys maybe have built a ton of projects and this doesn't really apply to you, but the rest of you, I bet, will start making some excuses, right? Like you're like, oh, I gotta learn a little bit more, or I'm not really sure how to get started. When well, you can just go open up a code editor, see how things start going, just make it work, right? It doesn't have to be perfect. Just try everything you can. And maybe you need help. Maybe you need to go you know, hire a tutor or go reach out to a friend who's a software developer and ask them for a little bit of help, whatever that may be. What's gonna come down to you getting a job is reference experience after reference experience hours and hours. All right, last thing here, I did mention my mentorship program in the video. If it's something that you are interested in, so if you are an aspiring self-taught programmer and you want to join my mentorship program, I will leave a link in the description of how you can do that. It is a call you're gonna need to book with me. It's an assessment call to kind of see where you're at, see where your goals are at. And then if things are a good fit, we can talk about what the program looks like, what the investment is and go from there. So definitely check that out. Other than that, thank you so much for watching and peace out as always guys.